JBN, we keep you informed. Superintendent Leon Clunis is dead. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Superintendent of Police Leon Clunis has died. The senior policeman was injured in a shootout with gunmen on the outskirts of Spanish Town two weeks ago and had been in hospital since. Family members and members of the police high command were at the hospital this afternoon. That's definitely the leader of the class, got And um, yeah, but I could do this, I said. Yeah. Um, we kept in touch with each other throughout 29 years of service. But we're coming with 30 years of service in the organization. Um, Leon was one of those persons who were deep on the front. We all have that about him. We see him as a warrior. Initially, when he got shot, uh, we feared the worst for the first couple of days. But we just never expected this. Uh, he was scheduled to release today with a long conversation. This morning, he called me twice. And I was taking some stuff to him. And then, because of the rain, I decided to just turn my back and told him when he gets home, I'm going to go. It's a sound. It's a boy that we have. It's a family deal. Tough Leon just read on. Good friend. Reports are that Clunis was in good spirits yesterday, but suddenly deteriorated today. This afternoon, in his sectoral presentation, which he dedicated to the hardworking, devoted, and uncompromising members of Jamaica's security forces, Minister of National Security Dr. Horace Strang paused to give his condolences to the family and friends of Superintendent Clunis. He was a good man, a fine officer. We have lost three very fine Jamaicans, Dr. Chang said. And the People's National Party Shadow Minister of National Security, Fitz Jackson, also expressed condolences to Superintendent Clunis's family. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Andrew Holness has also expressed sadness at the news of the death of Superintendent Leon Clunis. Holness, in a series of tweets, said, Superintendent Clunis put up a valiant fight for his life. Superintendent Clunis has given outstanding service to the Jamaica Constabulary Force JCF and to the nation as a whole, and we are grateful for his service, the Prime Minister said. I visited him in hospital on the weekend and he was in high spirits. We laughed and spoke for a while. I personally thanked him for his service in the force. I want to assure his family and the JCF that his selfless work will not go in vain, he said. May his soul rest in peace and may God grant his family, loved ones and colleagues the comfort they need during this time. On June 12, an 11-member team led by Superintendent Clunis went to a location in Horizon Park, Spanish Town, after the police received information that there were gunmen with high-powered weapons at the residence. There was a gunfight and four policemen were shot. Two of the officers, Detective Corporal Dane Biggs and Constable Ricardo Hilton, died in that operation, while Clunis and another officer were admitted to hospital. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.